Hi scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am here with a fun little challenge for you today. This weekend is called National Scrapbook Day. Well, not the weekend, but Saturday, May 2nd is National Scrapbook Day. And so Hannah Lee Mew, who is here on YouTube, thought it would be fun for a bunch of us YouTubers to get together and to create a layout with a theme. And so she thought it would be fun to use the theme of that song from The Sound of Music called uh, These Are a Few of My Favorite Things. And to just kind of use that idea while we're scrapbooking and we could kind of take it into our own interpretation basically. And so what I decided to do was to use some of my favorite products and some of my favorite things that I like to scrapbook with. So number one, I love scrapbooking with enamel dots. So I used enamel dots. And um, this video that you're watching right now is I'm recording this after I did my layout. So all of this stuff is already used on my layout. So um, don't get confused when you see my video because <laughs> all of this stuff will, will be back on there. But anyway, so, um, I hope I'm not confusing you. My brain is kind of crazy today, but anyway, so I love enamel dots. I use these, my mind's eye now and then enamel dots. And I believe this is from the Milo, uh, kit. Well, it wasn't a kit, but like the Milo line of papers and, and everything. So I used those. I also used some flare. And these were the Amy Tangerine flare from her, I believe it was plus one collection. And I just used one of those. Then I also used these Amy Tangerine thickers called twins. And I just, they're just the foam, the black foam. And I used some from back here. And I just love thickers. Thickers are some of my favorite things. <laughs> um, then I used her Amy Tangerine's Plus One paper. And this is one of my favorite collections of all time. I absolutely love this paper. This is definitely her favorite line that she created. My favorite line that she created, sorry. Um, so I used some papers from here. I also love, love, love Heidi Swap Color Shine. That is basically all that I have. Like, I have a few of these Mr. Hueys, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten, eleven. I have eleven Heidi Swap Color Shine. And I just love her, her stuff. It's just fun. So I used this in my scrapbooking and I also used a black pen and I love to have a good, uh, bleh, sorry, a good journaling pen. This one is actually new. I just got these EK tools journaling pens. So the, and this was the first time I actually used it was on this layout. So that's kind of exciting, but I love having a, a good pen to journal with. So that is a bunch of the stuff that I am going to be using some of my favorite things on this layout. Also another favorite thing of mine while I'm scrapbooking is to use a sketch or a layout that has already been created, which I do a lot of scrap lifting. And this layout is done by Sandra and she made this layout back in February. I just snapped a picture from her video while I was watching it, but while I was watching it, I just knew that I wanted to scrap lift it. And so when I sat down today with my photos and everything, I was just like, you know what? I am going to scrap lift it. So I didn't have the layout in front of me while I was doing my layout. So I kind of just did my own thing, which is what scrap lifting is pretty much. You just kind of get the idea from the layout. And that's one of my favorite things about scrapbooking is that I can take an idea and just completely make it my own. And it's just so much fun. So that is another one of my favorite things that you guys can look forward to seeing in this video. So thanks so much for watching and I will start fast forwarding now. Hi scrapbookers, this is Megan and I know this video is a little bit late so I want to apologize about that. I had some stuff come up and I couldn't get it out on time on Saturday. 
So hopefully I can get this up today, which is Sunday. So for this layout, I am going to use three out of those four pictures. And like I said, I'm going to be using this Amy Tangerine Plus One collection. And I had a bunch of bigger kinds of scraps. And so I thought I would use some of those. And then here I am just going to be pulling out some of the papers, the pattern papers that I want to use for the background and then also I was thinking I might cut up some of them as well. So for this layout, I didn't really have an idea when I first started it. But then, um, like I said, I had been thinking about that layout that Sandra um, from Oh Snap Gonzo here on YouTube, she had done a layout that had a banner going across the whole middle section and it was just really, really cute. And so once I placed down the photos, I was like, oh, hey, I could do something like that. So, so that is what I'm going to end up doing. And I didn't pull up her layout or anything. I just kind of did it my own way. I just kind of got inspiration from the idea. So here I am, I decided to use a different photo and so I cut it down and then I pulled out this green twine and I was thinking I was going to use that but I end up choosing a different color of twine. So here I am just going to start cutting up scraps and making them into banners or little flags and I pretty much that is what this layout is going to be. I am just going to cut up a bunch of little scraps that I have and and just yeah put them all across the middle of the layout. And I really really love the colors of this kit. On that for that banner I cut it a little bit too fat I didn't really like how it looked so I had a couple extra pieces that I just kind of stuck over on that left hand side and for this piece it didn't have any of that watercolor effect that was on the rest of the pattern paper and so I just pulled out some acrylic paint well actually I think it was acrylic paint that I had put water into already and made my own pink spray and so I just kind of painted that on there and I'm going to make it into a little flag. I don't know if that's what those are called, but if they're pointed like that, I call them flags and then the other, like this one that I'm making right now, I call those banners. So I don't know if that's the right word for, for those ones, but I call them flags. And so I'm just making another flag and that one has the words um, what was it I don't have the layout right in front of me because I am out of town but I think it's live the life you love love the life you live and here I'm going to cut out this blue and yellow flower and I'm thinking that I'm going to use that and then also I liked the back of like the background on that on that floral paper so I'm going to use that as well and then here I realized that on the bottom of that black paper they have the saying live the life you love love the life you live and so I'm going through my papers because I had two sheets of each paper and so I'm going to use that branding strip and just cut off that part that says that quote because I really liked that and here I am pulling off this pink twine I decided to use pink instead of green and it actually ends up that you can't even see the twine so it wouldn't have mattered in the first place I didn't even really need it but it does help create a little bit of dimension at the the top of where the flags and everything go so there I'm placing down those two pieces of brand new strips up there. Then I had this Admit One ticket and it was an actual ticket that we got from a like a little theater. I think it was from when we were in uh, Rexburg which was a really little town so they didn't have a big theater. 
So I also, up there in that corner, I pulled out some enamel dots and put that up there. Now here I am putting down the, the twine, and to do that I used this stuff called, um, what is it called? I can't remember. Sorry, I can't remember. But it's uh, from Thermoweb. I think it's sticky dots or something like that. It just comes on a sheet. And these sheets that I have, I think I got them from Amazon. And they are just four by six sheets. And all you do is you put whatever it is that you have, you put it down on there. And then you put the paper over top of it. It has like a transparent paper over top. And then it becomes sticky. Okay, so here I'm I'm just placing everything, all the banners and flags and everything on the layout and trying to figure out how many more I needed. So here I'm going to put another one of those black, the black pattern paper with the plus signs on it. I'm also going to do another orange one with the chevron strips. And I'm going to make that one into a flag. And then I think I just cut out one more piece from this, this paper that had the words on it. And I'm thinking that I'm going to put the photos up there at the top, but then I wasn't really sure if I liked how that looked. And so here I'm deciding I'm just going to put down all of these banners and everything. And, and then I'll deal with the papers after I do this. Sometimes it's easier to just do other things before you have to make bigger decisions. <laughs> so that's what I did. And... So I had a little teeny bit on both sides that was a little bit extra. So I'm going to end up putting another piece on that right side and then cut off the excess. Okay, so here is where I mess up. So this picture, I accidentally put it upside down on top of that paper, the glue dots paper. And it, so it got glue on the side of it, and so I'm going to have to reprint it because the glue just wasn't coming off. And here in a second, I'm going to try to to glue or to pull up the glue with a diaper wipe, and it's not going to work. It's actually going to ruin the photo, so I wasn't too happy about that. Here I am. There, that's where I use the the diaper wipe but it didn't work and so yeah that's kind of a bummer so here I am thinking about matting the photos and trying to figure out which paper I want to use for the photos I was thinking maybe I could use this background paper because it had frames on it but the pictures were just too big to fit inside the frames so I don't do that and then I had this scrap piece of this floral, so I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to place them up there in the top. And even though I'm not going to use this photo, I am still going to cut it down and um, mat it because I just want to make sure that I have it in the right place and I actually end up gluing it down with removable glue so that I, do, I can take pictures with it and everything. So here I use that other piece of that flag and I just put it up there. There I just turn it over so that it doesn't the photo doesn't keep falling off of the paper. Here I'm going to use some of this Heidi Swap Color Shine. And I actually thought about using the Hue Mr. Huey's Honor Society color, but I decide not to and I go with this teal. And then I'm also going to use Heidi Swap Tinsel.
And now I pull out these Amy Tangerine flares and I'm going to put one up there in that top left hand corner and I don't know if you can tell but there the reason I put it there was because there was a little spot that had been ripped off of the paper so that just covered that piece up and here I decide to use these Amy, Amy Tangerine thickers they're word thickers and it says here we go and I have a ton of these swimming pictures because this was the first time that Jonas went swimming with his physical therapist. And so I thought it would be fun to have that be the first page. And then I think I'll probably end up doing a two pager after this. So I remembered I had stepped away for a little bit and I remembered I had this ribbon and it's got these little pom-poms on it and I thought that that would be perfect to go right there below the pictures and on top of the banner strips so I decided to do that and I also bought these uh, doilies from Recollections um, they're made by Recollections I got them from Michaels so here I'm kind of fussing with the title and trying to figure out where I want to put it. And I'm not really sure if I like that doily, so I take it off and then I decide to put it back on and it's actually gonna stay there. So now I'm just going to start gluing everything down. You get to a point where you're just fussing too much and so you're like, okay, I just have to stop fussing and I just have to start putting stuff down. So finally, I started gluing stuff down. And here I'm trying to figure out where I want the title to go. So I'm going to put We Go right there. And then a little piece of that ribbon below the word go. And I try to glue it down with my Tombow Mono Glue. But that doesn't work. Like it kind of does, but then there's this extra part that's kind of hanging over the side so I decided to use my glue gun to to get that to stay up so that it's on the layout and here is where I start thinking maybe I should just have the title all be right there on top of each other and I really do like how that looks I like it a lot better than having the word here up above the photo and then everything else underneath it so here I'm going to start gluing down the photos and I decide that the doily needs to have a little bit of this uh, color shine on it so I do that and then I put down the word here and now I'm going to use my glue gun to glue down the ribbon. So there I glue down the ribbon under the title and then I'm going to put three enamel dots right there. I put two blue ones and then one yellow one. And now I'm just gluing down the ribbon. And I forgot to glue down that photo so I had to make sure that I did that. And then I put a little bit of hot glue on that XO button the flare and I kind of made a little mistake here because originally I had wanted the ribbon to be up a little bit higher but then when I started putting it down I forgot about that and so it, it kind of covers the word here but it actually doesn't bother me So here I am just gluing the excess ribbon onto the back of the layout. And I am going to also put some ribbon up there at the top in that cluster up there. And now I'm just trying to think about what else I want to do. So I am going to clean up a little bit and here I am pulling out a pen to do some journaling with. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I have these journaling pens that I bought a week or so ago. And I just bought them from Target and they're from EK Tools. 
and they are specifically made for journaling and so I thought I would test it out and I really like how it turned out and um, basically my journaling just says you know this is the first time that Jonas went swimming with his physical therapist and he had so much fun um, working and playing like he didn't even realize he was working because it was just all fun and games and just he loves to go swimming so I did that and then I am going oh here I'm trying to look for the date because since there's so many pictures I don't put the date on the back of all of them I just put the date on the back of one of them and so I was looking through them to figure out what the date was and it was January 31st 2008 I think yeah 2008 So I'm just going to put stamp up there with my Studio Calico rotary stamp and then I'm going to stamp twice right next to the journaling. I don't know why I do that. I just kind of like that. It just makes it more complete to me, I guess. Cuz I do that a a little like quite a few times in my scrapbooking. So there is where I put on the removable glue and then I glue down the mat. And I'm going to put it right there. And that is the end of the layout. Again, I apologize for not getting this up yesterday. I hope you like this layout. And I will be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.